Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today we have another room for MI A1 which is known as Validus room so without wasting any time let's get started so guys this is the room which we are talking about first I'll show you the software information going to settings system about phone and here you can see Android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 5th March 2018 and guys this is a very stable room with lots of features and many customization options. This ROM comes pre-installed with a pixel launcher which is a modded pixel launcher and after that you get few options to customize same launcher which can be done from here. In this video I'll be showing you the battery backup which I got it on first cycle. After that I'll also show you few pictures taken using the camera which is pre-installed on this ROM and the features or the customization options which are available. So guys I've been using this ROM since two days and pretty smooth ROM volt services are working without any kind of issues this is how quick setting tiles looks going to settings and you can find all the customization options under wolf's den so under wolf's den you have customizations related to system lock screen status bar navigation bar and multitasking so one by one we'll cover all of them and guys talking about installation process i've made a dedicated video for installing custom rooms on mi a1 which i'll link in the description below you need to follow the same guide and you'll be easily able to install this room so first let's go to the settings normally you get all the basic options over here under settings you get gesture which is jump to camera which can be used and working fine and talking about night light it works fine if you enable it activates the night mode and under advanced you have ambient display which includes always on display so when the screen is off and you will have always on display on the screen if you don't want always on display you can turn it off and you can use this option that is wake screen when you receive notification ambient and lift to wake auto brightness so this will automatically adjust the brightness as per the available environment now let's dive into wolves den and we'll check all the customization options available here so under systems first one you get animation app operation under lights you get option to customize the battery charging light notification light then you have notifications which gives you options of head up notification you have one more option which is called as smart notification sound in which you can set the time and the notification will play as per the time period set going to power menu normal options available here and under theme you have ui color mode in which you can change any of these so i have selected blue green talking about torch here you have two options under this one is double tap power button or long press power button so both of them are working fine under various you get alarm blocker battery bar which you can set it on the status bar screen off animation you have wake up on plug vibrate on plug options going to lock screen here you have lock screen shortcuts after that under various you have double tap to sleep on the lock screen media art lock screen battery info and face auto unlock going to status bar here you have network traffic quick settings status bar items and under various you have double tap status bar to sleep brightness control validus logo as you can see here on my status bar after that you can also change the logo style from here you have many options to change the logo moving on to navigation bar here from here you can enable the navigation bar and you have other options to change the height and the width of the navigation bar talking about buttons here you have options to swap volume keys if the device is rotated playback control volume key answer can be enabled if you don't want to touch your screen you can use the volume key to answer the call next you have hardware keys in which you can disable them and also have few options to change the brightness level of hardware keys and the last one what we have is multitasking which includes gesture anywhere so if you enable this you get a bar towards your left hand side you can change the location of that and you can add custom gestures to open any application so to trigger that you just need to tap here draw the custom gesture what you have made and the application should open up then you have few options of headset recents and various under various you get ambient music ticker so these are the customization options available on this room and now talking about the battery backup which i got it on this room going to battery and now you can see i have four percent of battery remaining and this is the highest screen usage time which i have got it that is eight hours and five minutes i did not charge my device i wanted to show you guys about the battery backup 
on this room and this room has the highest battery backup now talking about the benchmark results going with geekbench application in this single course code 879 wherein multi course code 4230 now talking about benchmarks under anto2 bench application and in this results were pretty low that is 63877 and now you can take a look on the photos which i have taken using the available camera on this room So guys these were the things and photo quality was pretty good using the stock camera which is available here and talking about installation process guys just go to the description below check out the video which i have mentioned and that will help you in installing the room so guys these were the things available on this room and if you like this room you can just go ahead and install follow the installation guide given in the description below so guys as of now only this much in this video hope you like this video and if you like this video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day